Cafe came to be really from my experience in the restaurant industry. I've been uh, in the restaurant business for almost 35 years. Um, and I've also been helping people with intellectual disabilities and in that field for almost 20 years now. And um, I've always wanted to put those two together. It was just a natural to, to come up with this idea of um, putting together the restaurant industry with people with disabilities. It, because in my experience working with families who have people with disabilities, the topic of jobs and, and employment always came up and, you know, their future always came up and it was really a struggle to find work. So um, about 10 years ago, I thought about this project and here it is 10 years later and, and it's really happening. So um, it was just something I thought was our community would support and something our community would uh, accept. And uh, it, it's been an amazing start to what we've only been announced to the world uh, since April of 2023. So uh, it, in a short period of time, uh, we, we think we've hit a nerve, I think, in Tallahassee, which is really exciting. Well, like I said, I, I've been thinking about it for a long time. And after running for political office, um, I decided instead of running for office, I'm gonna start a nonprofit. And so in my mind, you know, I really wanted to serve. I've always been someone who's been involved in the community. and. So I may not be able to impact 200,000 people in the city of Tallahassee as a commissioner, but I can impact thousands of lives as a founder of this organization. So I'm perfectly fine with that. And I think that's what I was meant to do anyway. So uh, taking my experience in the restaurant business and my experience working with the special needs community, um, it just well, it really is a natural fit. And I think anybody who knows me and heard about this and knew that I was the founder of it would probably go, oh, that makes perfect sense because that's something he's been passionate about his whole life. shaped the answer in two ways. One, I knew this was something that would be really exciting. And, and when we first started, I was personally overwhelmed at how the trainees that we have in our academy, how, how, how I've seen the program grow and how it's changed their lives. So um, I actually feel like what, we've, what we're doing is actually 10 times better than I thought it would be. So that's a good feeling. Now, the other thing is we don't have any real outcomes yet as of placing people in, in jobs. We're in the middle of doing that now. Um, we're not a job placement service. Um, so we really need the business community and the restaurant community to come together and, and recognize that we have nine trainees. Well, one already has a job. Uh, we have eight trainees who are looking for work um, and they're ready to work. And I think we've taken away the, the what ifs. I, I, you know, what if they're not ready to work? What do they know? How safe are they going to be? So our goal was to say to businesses and restaurants, we'll take that fear away. And we've trained them in different skills that when they come in on day one, they're going to know uh, what to do. And when you say something about sanitation or cleaning or, or prepping or weighing something, they're going to know what those answers are. So that's going to be pretty exciting. That doesn't mean that, you know, so we're still learning though, but I think the most important aspect of this program has been uh, discussions with a couple of the parents who have, have said to me that not only has this program changed them, the, our trainees as a person with a disability, it's changed their home life. It's made them more active in their uh, relationship with their parents. It's made them more outgoing instead of, you know, maybe a little bit more quiet. So those are the success stories that I would say is really important because we're hearing from the parents that this person is, is a changed man and, 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 when you get something like that and feel and hear that, boy, that, that's just, and I posted that on our, our social media because those stories are so impactful that I know there's other families out there that want to see their a change in their child or their adult child. And Inclusion Cafe Academy and Inclusion Cafe will do that once we get a, a restaurant open. But right now with the Academy open and uh, we're getting ready for our second class to start in August, uh, we'll make an announcement on Monday morning uh, that we are accepting applications for our next class. So we, we think we're going to fill the class up in, t in less than a week because there's so many people who need our services. And when you hear success stories like that, especially from parents, uh, we know we're doing the right thing. So we're excited. Well, the website is, is, a, is a pretty uh, great place to go. It's inclusioncafe.net. And um, it'll, it'll have links to our academy, how to apply. It has links to a sign-up genius where people can become a, uh, uh, a volunteer at our academy. Um, but when we open our restaurant in 2025, we're gonna have volunteers there every day. 
So there'll be volunteer opportunities every day in the restaurant. We're going to have mentors working next to our employees every single day that are not doing the work for them, but are actually helping them, uh, again, learn their skill. And you know, we're going to be an operating restaurant, but with using volunteers to help and using every single one of our employees, our hourly employees will be people with intellectual disabilities. So it'll be the first of its kind in the state of Florida. So it's going to be a little bit of a challenge, but uh, again, I think Tallahassee will support what we're doing and hopefully we'll make it a destination restaurant where people want to come eat, you know, two, three times a week for lunch.